cottage. He was very poor. He had only one daughter called Laila. She was bright and merry young girl and she was as wise as beautiful. Each day she would set out to marketplace and would be begging for arms. But they would barely get enough for good meal. Some nights they would even go hungry one day. My dear child, I am very sorry that you must suffer such a hard life. I wish I could have given you more. Don't worry yourself, Papa. I am quite happy with whatever you have given me. And as for tonight's name, leave it be. I try harder tomorrow. But I am still sad. I love you, my dear daughter, and I wanted to give you the best. He stayed awake the whole night and wondered what to do. The next day, the old man went to the royal palace. What do you want? I want to make a king. Just a minute. Your Majesty, an old man is here to meet you. Send him. Get in. Your Highness, it is an honor to be in your presence. I have come here to ask if your Majesty would spare me a few gold coins just for today. I will never ask anything again. On seeing him, the king stared at the old man from top to bottom. My dear man, who has taught you to speak so well? It is my daughter who has taught me to speak. As she says that, words are priceless things to us all. She is very smart and I would be nothing without her. Hmm. Then let me check how clever she is. Bring those eggs. Take this basket of eggs to your daughter and ask her to hatch chickens from them. If she succeeds, you will be rewarded. However, if you do not get the hatched eggs, you will be punished. Yes, Your Majesty. The old man was disheartened. He walked back home to his cottage sadly and told his daughter everything. What the king has given this time? Why? These eggs are boiled. They cannot be hatched. What? These eggs are boiled? Then you will surely be punished. Don't worry, Papa. Go rest for now and tomorrow we will have an answer. The old man went to rest, leaving Layla to ponder about the eggs. In the evening, Laila went to speak to her father, who was in very worried state. Papa, listen to what I have to say. Take these boiled beans with you and grow them in the field. When the king passes, shout out loudly, Oh, let the boiled beans grow and harvest be good. And when he asks about you, tell him that it is as possible as it is for chickens to be hatched out of boiled eggs. The old man did as he was advised to do and as he began to sow the seeds, the king passed by on his way. When the old man saw him, he cried loudly. Oh, let the boiled beans grow and the harvest be the good. Oh, let the boiled beans grow and the harvest be the good. Oh, let the boiled beans grow and the harvest be the good. Tell me, how it is possible to have harvest out of boiled beans? It is impossible. Oh. 
but it is possible, Majesty, as possible as it is to have chickens out from boiled eggs. Bring the bundle of bags. Take this bundle of flags to your daughter and ask her to turn them into ropes and sails, which is all on need to on board a ship. If she do not, you will be punished. Yes, Your Majesty. The old man went to home even more sadly this time. He again told his daughter all that had happened. My dear child, See what the king has given this time. If we can't do his order, we will be punished. Hmm, very well. I will have the king's answer by the end of the day. Do not worry, father. The next day, Laila took a small piece of wood and gave it to her father. the king and tell him that if he can cut a spinning wheel and loom out of it, I will do whatever he wants of me. So the old man went to the king's palace and gave him Lyla's message. What do you want again? I want to meet the king. Okay, wait a minute. Your Majesty, the old man is again here to meet you. Send him. Get him. Your Highness, my daughter asked you to cut the spinning wheel and a loom out of this. Very well. Your daughter is indeed very smart. But I haven't yet given up. Take the cup. Give this cup to your daughter and, uh, and ask her to pour the empty, empty the entire sea. So it must look as an entire dry field. If she do not, you shall live to you shall not live to see the next day. Yes, Your Majesty. So the old man back home in fear, carrying the cup with him carefully. He was in fear while he spoke to Layla. Leila, the king has finally given a very difficult task. He has told you to empty the entire sea with this cup. Well, what a pretty cup. Very well. I will have the king's answer by the end of the day. Do not worry, father, for I will see that no harm come to us. That day, Leila herself went to the king's palace. The king was astounded with her wisdom and beauty. What do you want? I want to meet the king. Just a minute. Your Majesty, someone is here to meet you. Send them. Go in. Have you come here to admit your defeat? Not at all, Your Majesty. I have come to ask if you could be so kind to block all the rivers and streams from entering into the sea. Then only I can empty the entire sea. Very well. You are so clever. I will keep my promise and reward your father as many as gold he wants. But let me ask you some questions and I want to know how will you answer them. Can you tell what is the furthest thing a human can hear? Your Highness, the furthest thing a human can hear would be the sound of, thumb, sound of thunder and a lion. Hmm, you are correct. Can you tell what my beard worth? Your beard, my good king, is worth three rainy days in the season of summer. Hmm, your answer has made me very happy. You are just the wisest maiden in all of my land. 
I wish you to make my minister. Will you do your pleasure of being my minister in my court and staying in my palace? Your Majesty, I will certainly do so if you promise me one thing. Certainly. What it would be? Your Highness, you have to promise me that if you ever get angry with me and tell me to leave the palace, I will be allowed to take one thing that I love from the palace. <laughs> I agree to it. Thank you, Your Majesty. I Laila. I Laila. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. In the name of God. In the name of God. That I will bear the truth. That I will bear the truth. Faith and elegance. Faith and elegance. To the kingdom. To the kingdom. As by law established. As by law established. That I will uphold the sovereignty. That I will uphold the sovereignty. And the integrity. And the integrity. Of this royal kingdom. Of this royal kingdom. That I faithfully discharge my duty. That I will faithfully discharge my duty. As a minister. As a minister. For the royal kingdom. For the royal kingdom. And uh, I will do right. And I will do right to all manner of people. To all manner of people in accordance with the emperor. In accordance with the emperor and law. And law without fear or favor. Without fear or favor. Affection or ill will. Affection or ill will. Thank you all. Thank you all. Shalom